Well, let's explore this issue with Dr. Lee Z. Tao Lu. He's a fertility doctor at the New Hope Fertility Center in New York. Uh, doctor, tell us more about who is getting these treatments abroad. Are Chinese women uh, really just waiting longer to have children, or is infertility in general the larger issue? Well, and there's a, a high demand in infertility treatment for the Chinese lady, and some of them travel thousands of miles from China to U.S. There are, uh, there are a kind of, uh, several population. The number one is uh, some patient who need a special attention or special medical care, such as they want to free, uh, freeze their egg to preserve their fertility capacity. Or there's some other group, for example, if they want to have the surrogate pregnancy, or if they want to receive a donor egg, or some patients, uh, such as uh, lesbian or gay couple, like they, they it's very hard for them to have a baby or uh, to be in uh, to receive IVF service. Or some uh, other patients, for example, if they want to select the gender of the baby to balance their family, and it's very difficult for this uh, this population to get their medical care in China. At the same time, and there's another uh, several, uh, group of population, such as the lady in advanced maternal age. And uh, such as in our clinic, and 60% uh, of our patients are more than 40 year old. Wow. And, but in China, uh, this uh, population uh, is hard to receive their uh, treatment because the physicians don't have enough experience to manage this population. And doctor, this is a very expensive process. We're not talking just about the care that you're getting, uh, but the travel to come all the way to the United States from China to try to have a baby. Why are people doing it? And, and really, are people, uh, do they just have more money to afford this sort of thing? Well, and this is a very good question. And the number one, and when we think about the whole uh, treatment cost, and the travel expense is not a big money. The number two, just a, small, uh, just a big uh, middle class population in China. And they came to U.S. before, even they come uh, to our clinic or come to U.S. for their fertility treatment. So they know U.S. system very well. Probably they worked in U.S. before, or they get their uh, education before in U.S. So they, it's not hard for them to come to U.S. And also when we talk about medication, and we don't think there's too much difference uh, in the cost of the medication. Sometimes uh, the medication in China is a bit cheaper than U.S. And here in, at the New Hope, our protocol is very um, special. As a result, the cost uh, for the medication is even less than the cost in China or the cost in other clinics in U.S. How does China's fertility rate compare to the rest of the world, and what are some of the causes uh, for China's infertility challenges, um, with the exception of age, as we already mentioned. But what are some of the other challenges? Well, and uh, it's very hard to compare the success rate between U.S. clinic and the Chinese uh, c c clinic. And in fact, that in China, uh, in U.S., it's even not allowed to compare the success rate among the clinics, because we are facing different population, and we are using different technique. And in China, and the majority of the embryo transfer will be performed for day three stage embryo. And they will transfer the probably two to three embryos or even more. And in the US, the majority of the embryo transfer is for cyst at day five stage embryo. And uh, a lot of time we only transfer one, occasionally we transfer two embryo. And also in the uh, US, just like in our clinic, the patient age is older than the Chinese population. As a result, it's very hard to compare. And um, however, and we can see, and there's still some uh, technique or some, some guideline difference. For example, in China, there's a very strict guideline regarding the application of PGTA. That means to checking the genetic information of the embryo at the blood cell stage before the transfer. However, in U.S., uh, more and more clinics are transferring embryo, especially frozen embryo, after we do the genetic study by uh, NGS. As a result, when we transfer embryo back to the patient, they have a higher chance to uh, achieve the pregnancy. All right, a lot, of, a lot of differences there. Dr. Leo, thank you for joining us from New York. We appreciate it.